Hey everyone, good morning. I am getting ready to take advantage of our cedar mulch and mulch around here like I did on the side of the house last night. Um, it'll help keep the bugs away, weeds for one, bugs. Um, it'll help keep all that away. So. Um, and plus cedar lasts a long time. It takes forever to compost, so it'll be good. Be good for here. Let me go get my stuff. Okay guys, all right, yeah, I took a couple of the Budleya bushes out for a friend. Uh, she said she'd love to have them, and I realized I have one more, but that's okay. I'll take one, 
but this just need to be open because eventually I want to put more lavender through here and then you know with the volunteer stuff and the snapdragons and the petunias and uh, I'll just let it do its thing and my mom's and we got one more last bloom of uh, the Texas Rose um, and uh, this is kind of hard to get into but I got my little rake I love that thing it works great in small places I bought it years ago um, don't even know where probably in Chicago but anyway um, I mulch through here and I'll finesse this and keep putting a little in at a time and um, I'll probably this fall will cut back my cactus or maybe next spring and hand out to people that want some but over here I have to take these real quick I need to take these over and so she can get them planted and yeah they need to be planted right away so I'll take them over it's a pretty nice day it's uh it's not real hot but the sun is is shining and if you're doing some things not a cloud in the sky type of day don't get that very often but it's just beautiful and in the shade it's wonderful so i think i'm gonna load up um she is also the one that wants the mimosa tree so I'm going to load up them plants and I'm going to take them over so they can get them planted. I'll make sure she can get them planted today and um, the trees can be left in pots. But the Budleas, I hope they do okay. They're perennials and perennials are usually pretty hardy. Um, even if they lose a few leaves or a stem or something, they should come back. They've got some good roots on them. And, um, yeah, they just need planted. They need a new home. All right. For right now, I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, I hope it's beautiful wherever you're at. And I hope all your gardens are producing. And if you're harvesting some tomatoes now, that's great. Um, ours is just getting started because, you know, they don't get the sun like they used to. I remember when I first started this garden years ago, this was all full sun, just full sun, every all day long. Um, but now with the mature trees, they've grown out, and we're talking about maybe taking out a limb or two up here so it can get a little more sun um, because the tomatoes are taking longer. I've got a lot of tomatoes on these plants. Um, that red one, I can't wait to bite into that one. That one's going to be yummy. Um, anyway, I won't drag this on. I have some work to do. I'm going to take just a little break, and then I'm going to head over to my friend's house. And if she'll let me show you her massive uh, hostas and stuff, I will turn, turn the film on and uh, show you her garden. All right, you guys, you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you very shortly. Take care. Bye-bye. This is my friend's garden. Tomatoes and petunias and... I like her little windmills. They're so pretty. And look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? So big. Look how big those leaves are. Oh, this would brighten up the front of my house really good. I'm going to have to take a piece of this for next year, next spring. That would really brighten up the front of the house. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. In front of a red house? Yeah, yeah.
very pretty. Lots of little statues and Really gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, you guys, that's it. Oh, and these must be her roses down here. She was talking about, maybe. Yeah. She basically lets them just take care of themselves. They learn to take care of themselves. I have some of those in the uh, cedar trees. The little daisies. This is pretty. That's really pretty. In a little place where birds can eat. <laughs> I love this. Thanks. All right. There you have it. Guess what? We're getting a new spot for our fire pit. Because it, it used to be over here. And we kind of enjoyed it over here. But I think it would look a lot better over here. And we're going to make it look real nice around there. And um, my husband's really good at doing these kinds of things. So we put down the plastic. Uh, it's held down. Put down the plastic. It's held down with um, the garden stakes. With the gaskets. And if you want some of these with the gaskets, I'll put a link. Anything that I use on my videos, in my videos, I'll put links down there for you. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like here in just a little bit. We have some limestones over here still hasn't been used anywhere yet and we'll use them for the fire pit <laughs> i guess in one video a while back i said pit fire <laughs> i know i'm getting old and my words don't come out the way they're supposed to they they're backwards upside down you know so there you go all right i'll be back in a few And there we have it, our new fire pit. We used uh, the plastic on the bottom and then we covered it in sand. And then we put the, um, uh, the pea pebbles, pea pebbles, rock on there. And then remember all the decorative rock, river rock that I got out of the fountain garden? We used it for underneath here. 
So we gave it a use. It's pretty. Looks nice and fresh again. Nice job, baby. Nice job. And then he's got to cut down this uh, tree stump. I don't know when he's going to cut down the tree stump, but that's got to be done. Get it out of the yard. I am the Bruce Lee of tree stump <laughs> removal. Here he goes. I'll be <laughs> dipped. <laughs> there we go. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. And let's see what else. We have a new addition to Medallia. And that is the apricot dahlia. She's really pretty. Can't wait to see what she looks like when she blooms all out. That'll be great. As my lilies go away, I have asters that are about to bloom. I have zinnias about to bloom and uh, it's going to be pretty in here in about a week probably the cosmos are about to bloom too some of them um, there's a nice bud and there's it these these got real nice and tall and uh, we still have some lilies that will still that will still bloom i thought this would be so pretty when it bloomed out with the lily here but um it's not very big it's the seashell one so we'll see how it does gumfrina is doing really well these still are not blooming but um hopefully it blooms i have some trees here that will be great. My friend, she can pick and choose which ones she wants. They are coming up real good. Peppers are still getting more color on them. Everything's doing well. I counted the tomatoes that I have on this vivacious. There's almost about 25. And there's some down here that are just about ready to pick. Oh, there they are, over there on the other plant. <laughs> and uh, we're patiently waiting this one to get red. And that's one of the super steaks. Super steaks, or it might be Johnny's Big Beef. Ooh, I have a tomato plant, let me tell. I didn't right notice this. I have to get some I'll have to get something to tie it up. I'll do that right away so it doesn't break. Get, get it in its cage. Sometimes things just grow so quickly you can't or you get involved in other things and you don't pay attention. Alright you guys, you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.